morning, you guys. I am tired. And, nope, went the wrong way. Yep, there he is. He is still asleep. I look like I'm drowned out. Anyway. Nope, didn't do anything. I don't know why I tried. So, um, yeah. Social media has been interesting for the last week. And so, I'm not sure on some of the programs how much we're going to partake anymore. Um, we were live broadcasting last night on You Know, and just the amount of naughtiness that come out of people is ridiculous. And I'm all for if you don't understand the situation, ask questions. We tell our children that. And so it doesn't bother me. Ask a question, but come at us respectfully. And yeah, sometimes, like with the Sony situation and everything we're going through with that, it seems unbelievable. But what would we gain out of telling anyone about our situation unless we're fighting a court battle, um, you know, and we're not. Um, we're trying to take care of it with them, through them. Um, and we've checked with the bank, and we've fact-checked everything that Sony's telling us, um, and none of it is coming back, but also, Anthony also ended up with, like, three different stories from three different representatives, but we've all had those kind of situations. Um, but the person on you now just didn't come at it respectfully, and I've been in the customer service business 20 years? Okay, it's been more than 20 years. Um, and so these situations do happen, and uh, working for Singular Wireless was ridiculous. And it, it wasn't, the company wasn't ridiculous. We did have a situation where um, the people who, so decided maybe, sorry, decided maybe I should start packing since we leave fairly soon. So I gotta pull out all the suitcases. I still don't know what we're driving. So that's how much I know we can oops, take. And because of where they're putting us, um, we can take some food items. So we're not eating out because it's the only thing I despise about traveling um, is having to eat fast food. This bag is still packed slightly. <laughs> Are they going to roll the toilet paper in here? But, uh, we'll see what's clean and dirty and then go from there. So, um, uh, I just tossed all of the clothes downstairs. They can be rewashed. I definitely think <laughs> the, the way our weather is that, uh, the hoodie that was in there will be a great commodity. And that's still three pairs of socks from Anthony, the kids, and I, and then three of his wife's beaters because, like I said, they have washer and dryer, they have all the amenities. And so we'll have to take a bunch. Um, but there was a brand new pack of two freshes in there. Um, all new um, sponges, these type of sponges, um, toothpaste, uh, one of my perfumes, so we've got it pretty made. Um, I'm hoping we can just kind of wendle it down to one suitcase, but with five people going, uh, the likelihood of that working is one to none, but you never know. So here's an odd one. I was kind of pulling everything out to See, smells weird in here. Um, 
to see what exactly was in there, and I've pulled out a, the, uh, we had the Costco membership where you got 2% back at the end of your year. I was fine and dandy, I <laughs> just found a $3 check, so, um, unfortunately it's only usable at... Costco, so we'll see. We've talked about getting the membership because we do like um, buying them. We don't tend to buy our uh, bulk toilet paper and stuff there. Spray. That's going with us for sure. And I don't know what to pack. Do I pack summery clothes? Not that this trip just kind of getting wore out because um, this is year two of doing this and I don't know that I necessarily want to I'm trying to cut my own head off run around too much but at the same time I don't necessarily want to be cooped up so we'll see um, this trip we aren't you know we don't have that uh, extra money to go so the kids just might be bored. I guess we'll have to live with that. So, this went to packing to... I have cleaned the bedroom and I have a bunch of stuff that is going out to be washed. Um, pretty much got almost a completely packed suitcase and we're still missing day clothes for Lex and underwear and day clothes for Xander and Dave clothes and PJs for Connor. So let's hope I can get it all in there. I'm thinking it's probably not going to happen, but I'm trying. So I'm definitely not giving up. So I need to find some paper. And oh, I say it and now it appears. And I need a pin. No, nothing. Okay. I found a notebook, and so I need to, I was just like chopping my head off today, um, I need to make a list of what else I need, um, and what has already been packed, that way I know, because I know we have electronics and our equipment to record, we need also all of the cords to that, which go in a separate bag all together. So I decided I put my limit on, oh I forgot to make the cord work to uh, packing and so I've got almost everything packed I need to make sure all the electronics what Xander? I got a free video game in some of our trips yeah anyway so I need to make sure to take the computer actually mm -hmm. speaking oh. of taping our trip Quantum um, so yeah I'm definitely tired it's only only 2.30. Um, so, I've uh, just been yes. dealing with this and that and had to call Ikea again today. And, uh, nope, oh, there you go, come. Hey. Um, was on hold for an hour before anyone ever picked up to begin with, and then she put me on hold to call the cash office um, and they're going to try to release the gift card today or tomorrow which does us no good because I'm going to Portland where the Ikea is and now I'm making dinner so I just decided to put the pork roast into the oven and bake it off and then um, Baked potatoes sounded good. So, I'm going to have to finish that. I'm slowly trying to find all of the cords and everything um, and get everything ready and get everything situated um, and what have you. Um, but, like, ice is really loud. Got the cold brew going and so. I have to double it up next week for a friend because she's also leaving town, and that way she will have for when we're gone 
because she gave me crap about how she knew why her week went the way it was because she had no cold brew. Wah, wah. <laughs> anyway, <sighs> yeah, I'm tired, but I'm forging on and I probably have a good eight loads of laundry to do, but I only have to do it once a week like this and then Lexi needs to wash her laundry, but she's not here because she is at um, swim lessons, not swim lessons, uh, lifeguard. And so we'll see when she'll be in. Please tell me I'm not the only one who moves stuff and then puts it in a new spot and then forgets where that new spot is. Went to go do Anthony's pills and I still can't find the extra um, pill thing. So might just make up some little packets and uh, take them with us. Um, that way he's completely... This thing is not changing with me. <laughs> Um, but, I don't know, so, we'll see. Okay, so, found the extra one. So that wasn't the extra one, this one. And so, I had, thought my measurements were correct, I was wrong. So I ended up with little bags like these, and instead of trying to take 
um, this with us because one, it's too many days and they just pop open really easily. We have lost pills that way. So I'm going to use my seal a meal and write little notes on when he's supposed to be taking these. Um, that way we can just take the little baggies and they have uh, easy tear. Not that I guess you can see it very well. Oh, actually right there. And so I just have to seal this one end and then he'll have his pills and I can just write a little note to go into it. A note. The day. I could tell him you have sweet little notes. So I kicked butt and took names today. He's walking by, not a movie. Anyway, um, and so we're pretty much packed. Lex is the only one that um, I didn't pick out her outfits for her, but I got her PJs and everything else she's gonna need. Um, but there is no room in that bag. I was surprised I got uh, everyone I did in that bag. Oops, sorry, you guys what happens when you uh, try to put on slippers. <laughs> um, now that he's going to finish up the laundry because um, I got all except for a couple blankets done. So um, we might want to take them, just leave them around it. Um, so yeah. Um, and then I think end of next week we'll talk about food and what food we want to take. He is out, I guess. Anyway, so I'm going to end it here tonight. The boys are downstairs playing D&D. &D, um, oh, attempting. And I'm done with them tonight. And Lex should be home in a little while. And so I'm going to lay in bed in my well-deserved <laughs> Hey, it is for tonight, and I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Later.